Okay, others who are interested in exercising or free speech. Others? And I said earlier, you know, this notion of being at this unprecedented time in human history, right? These are some of the, the aspects of it. And you see these forces trying to divide us and tear us apart and tear apart the fabric of society. And, you know, we believe that part of living to these values is this is a nation that's built on free speech even when people have a view that you may or may not be aligned with, that an important part of a democracy is giving people a right to express their view, right? That's part of what makes this nation, and nations like it, that make this nation special. And so, for us, I think it's important, even though it's disruptive, to, when folks have a view like that, to just give them a moment and this is the venue, unfortunately, I guess, or not, where they've chosen to express their views, to give them that right, which hopefully those of you here can see that we did and try to do it you know, in a humane and thoughtful and considerate way. Right? As a nation, We're not always going to agree. And you look at what's happening around the world, not just here, and these sort of dark forces that are tearing at us, and it's our responsibility to try to unite, to try to pull together, to try to stand together, and to try to find common ground with folks that have a view that's unlike ours. And inside the company, we talk about this notion of being an ally. We've got this thing we call them are equality groups. Lots of companies in the room must have these things, employee resource groups, right? We have them. And one of the things uh, identifies black. And um, so I would identify with Gold Force, which is the equality group for black folks. But in order to be part of Gold Force, you don't necessarily have to be black. We want allies to come in who don't necessarily identify as black. And being someone's ally, particularly in these times, doesn't necessarily mean you always agree. Right? Means you, we hope you think that you're part of a family. If you have a family anything like mine, you don't always agree on everything, right? Because there's teenagers involved. And so, but you come together and you listen and you respect each other, right? And so, we're trying to offer these folks with this view, passionately expressed. And I'm sure, certain they love this country. An opportunity to. to freedom of speech to express with you. And so hopefully that's what you take away from this and um, we'll move on, move on. So thank you, thank you everyone for your patience. But you know, that's an important moment. And again, we're at an important moment in ministry and we try to lift these values. Are we perfect? 